Your Eminence, Archbishop of Pilafotos, our beloved Father and Chief Shepherd, it gives me great joy to welcome you today on your first pastoral visit to our most to this most historic community of the Annunciation. The challenges set forth by the pandemic did not allow for this visit to occur earlier. Therefore, this is a day that we have longed for, a day to rejoice in the presence of our spiritual father. Your Eminence, I welcome you today on behalf of the God-loving faithful of this community. Annunciation can trace its roots back to the late 19th century to its humble beginnings as a nomadic Orthodox community under the pastoral leadership of Archimandrite Kalinikos Dilby, a learned graduate of Halki Theological School, who was sent here by Patriarch Neophytos VIII in 1892. The community was officially incorporated in 1933 and it continued to move to several different locations until 1953 when Annunciation found its permanent home in this magnificent building. Your Eminence, we look back to the story written by the forefathers of this community. We see a bold history written with brave men and women who love their faith and their culture. Individuals who worked diligently to ensure the promotion of orthodoxy and Hellenism within the American reality. This dynamism and bravery is something that we have been so happy to witness in your person. Your Eminence, during your two and a half year ministry as Archbishop of America, you have brought new life and vision to our sacred archdiocese. From the very first moments of your election, you demonstrated love for the archdiocese, its faithful, and most certainly, its clergy making your arrival here a true Annunciation. You chose to face the challenges of this Archdiocese head on and in just two years have managed to renew our vision for a brighter future. As a young clergyman ordained at your eminence's hand, all these things have brought me and my family great hope. As your name so bears for the future of our church here in America, the culture, the culture and societal landscape of this area in New York City is not what it was in the 19th and 20th centuries. It has changed. People have moved to different areas. Up until recently, our building was showing its age. It needed refreshments and renewal, which was brought about by my predecessor, the very reverend Archimandrite Chrysostomos Gilbert who worked tires tirelessly with, this faithful, with these faithful stewards of this community to restore the brightness of our church edifice. One thing that has not changed over the years is the spiritual fabric that makes up this community of the Annunciation. Here you will, you will meet faithful people who love Christ and his church, people who are willing to work hard for whatever their church needs. A large part of this spiritual fabric are the ladies of Philoptikos, who not only care for those within the Greek Orthodox community, but all people. As your eminence beautifully stated in your encyclical for Philoptikos Sunday, these amazing women answered the question, who and who is my neighbor? Showing us that every person made in the image and likeness of God is in fact neighbor, our sister, and our brother. And I take this opportunity to recognize the God-inspired service of Our Ladies of Philoptikos and thank them for all that they offer our Annunciation community. Your Eminence, it has been a short few months since you assigned me to serve this historic parish. And in these few months, these people have warmly welcomed me along with my family, Presbytera Kathy, and our daughter, Evangelia, into this community. I take this moment to publicly thank your eminence for assigning me to a blessed community, one with a strong spiritual fabric, which I believe will only be made stronger 
with your arch pastoral prayers and leadership. Welcome, Your Eminence, Eti Polan Sevesmotate. Ecaristo, my dear Father Sofiria, I'm so happy to be here with you today to celebrate the Holy Liturgy and to pray with you to visit this beautiful parish. I visited this parish before Father Sotirie and it was equally beautiful the last time when was Father Chrysostomus Gilbert, the proestament of this beautiful church. Annunciation means good news, evangelismos, takala nea, the good news. And I'm here to do, enjoy the good news of the appointment of the new Proistamino, because this is the first time that I'm here when you are the Proistamino, my dear Father Sotirie. I want first to congratulate you and of course the parish, the whole parish, the parish council, the philosophical society, everybody for having again for another time, because Father Chrysostomos was really a brilliant Proistamino and at, this, at his succession, to have such a brilliant young priest again as voice governor of this historic parish. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, how wonderful priests we have in our church. I am proud of my priests. I am proud to be the Archbishop of such clergy as we have here in America in our Holy Archdiocese. It's not easy, it's not simple to have succession of this quality and of this level in the clergy and in the church. It takes hard work, it takes prayer, it takes cultivation, it takes education, it takes prayer and time to have to reach this point that you see before you priests of the level and of the quality of Father Chrysostomus and of Father Sotilius. This is the reason I'm appealing to all of you, because these priests do not fall from heaven. They are a creation, they are a product, they are a fruit of the people of God, of the families, of the mothers, Papu and Yayas, who bring their young boys and girls to the church and install in them the faith, install them, teach them how to make the sign of cross, how to light a candle, how to go to the altar and serve, serve the holy table where God is being incarnate again in the form of bread and wine. This is something that comes together, comes first from the family and then in the church community and then the last step is the school. Who is making the decision to become a priest? A candidate himself? No. This is a mistake. Ego exelexamin imas legi kirios. Uchimis me exelexaste. I choose you, says God. You don't choose me. I am the one who chooses who is eligible, who is ready who is worthy to become a priest. Our duty is say yes or no to this call, because we are created as free creatures in his image and likeness, because God is free. So we are free also. It is this freedom that gave the liberty to Adam and Eve to say no to God in paradise and lose paradise. That's the original sin. The right to say no to God. But, Father Sotiri, you said yes. And we are all so happy that you said yes, together with your presbytera, Kathy. Do you know that not only Father Sotiri, but his wife had to consent to that. Without the agreement of his wife, his presbytera now, he couldn't receive the holy priesthood. This is the order, the tradition of the church, because after the marriage, we are not two people, 
separate. We are one. This is what we pray during the matrimony, and this is what we wish, and this is the new reality. So the couple, Sotiri and Kathy, said yes to God's calling, and there we have the good news. Who is the good news? Evangelia, their daughter. Evangelia, I said, Evangelismos, Annunciation, is the good news. You have the good news, and I hope you have more good news to share with us in the future, because we love you, and we need, we truly need more good news in our church. Father Chrysostomos, I called him yesterday, because his name did. I hope you also called him, because he is very happy in Greece. He realized, I explained to him that since he is a uh, celibate priest with a, with a future in our church. Very soon, I hope, he will become a bishop. And at this level of the church administration, you need to be fluent in Greek. You cannot be a bishop of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America and not be able to speak Greek. And he realized that we are grateful to Leadership 100, which provided the necessary funds to support his studies now for one year in Greece. And he will come back uh, quite fluent in Greek. He also spoke to me Greek last, uh, yesterday on, on the phone. So we are very happy that Father Chrysostomos is doing well, and he's sending to all of you his love and greetings. Father Sotiri, this Sunday is the Sunday dedicated to the Philoptokos Society. The Philoptokos Society, which is truly the pride of the Archdiocese. All the ladies that we commemorated here, the ones who are in heaven and the ones who are with us on earth, we are all together, one church. This is the teaching of our church, that the, the church includes and embraces everyone, both on heaven and on earth. So the place here is a place that goes, transcends time. There is no time when we pray in the church. There is no sense of past and future and present. Everything is present and everybody is here. Our Lord, the Panagia, the saints, the living and the dead, celebrating together. I remind you that during the liturgy, there is a, there is a time when we say, remembering, remembering your second coming, something that didn't even happen yet. And we say we remember that. It's here, of course, here there is no future. So living and dead, Together, united in prayer and Eucharist, we celebrate and we congratulate and we express our gratitude to the Philosophical Society members, to all these ladies who know nothing but service, service to the people of God, service to the fellow human beings, whoever they are, without any distinction of any kind. So, uh, about after the, uh, uh, after the Philoptokos members, I want to express really my gratitude and my thanks and my congratulations to the Parish Council, the President and all the members of this Parish Council. I cannot uh, forget the beautiful choir. You really are a, a jewel in the church. You chanted so well and together with the beautiful psalty that you have here, you reminded us that there are no limits in the prayer of the church. This richness and diversity of the music that we have in our church means that arts and all the gifts that are given from above are not one-dimensional, are really rich, and embracing of any kind of expression, musical, artistic, or any other kind. God bless you all. Congratulations. You chanted so well, both the beautiful choir and our brilliant salto. Bravo.
God bless you.